What's up everybody, Noble Comics here with round six of the Tournament of Power. This time we have Martian Manhunter from the Justice League versus Thor of the Avengers. First, let's look at the previous results, which was Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern versus Broly. And as we can see here, it was an absolute stomp. Broly has completely dominated Green Lantern and will be moving forward in the tournament. All that out of the way, let's get into Martian Manhunter vs. Thor, and this is classic Thor, by the way. It's no Odin Force, no Power Cosmic, anything like that. Classic Thor. Now, I typically do one character, then the next, and then a little, you know, discussion at the end, but this time I want to just do head-to-head -head on the typical categories that I touch on. Starting, of course, with Power Output. So, looking at Thor when it comes to Power Output, we've, of course, seen him do things like Overpower and Defeat, very strong characters like uh, Namor, like the Hulk, like Gladiator, Hyperion, Silver Surfer. Again, these guys are like Galaxy Plus, if not higher, super powerful beings that Thor is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with because he is one of, if not the most powerful hero um, in Marvel. We've seen him do things like close wormholes, throw planets out of orbit with his pure strength, destroy planets easily like when he was fighting Gore the God Butcher, he'd hit him so hard that nearby planets would shatter. Thor's obviously extremely, extremely powerful, and again, able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the strongest, most powerful heroes and villains in the Marvel Universe, even fighting guys like Thanos, so he usually loses. Martian Manhunter on the other side, again, one of the most powerful heroes in DC, potentially the most powerful Justice League member, depending on who you ask. And we've seen him also with extreme feats of power, like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman, being able to restrain him, draw blood from him, being able to fight people like Doomsday, being able to fight people like Darkseid, as well as fighting people like The Flash and Wonder Woman, and really the whole Justice League, and not only physical strength, but mental strength as well, as he has very strong telepathic abilities, um, being able to, for example, like shut down the entire Justice League, shut down The Flash, um, extremely powerful telepath and a, and super powerful physically as well you know physically going toe-to-toe -to -toe with people like Superman and Despero etc. Durability wise we've seen Thor for example tank hits from again people like Hulk people like Thanos taking a scream from Black Bolt taking hits from Gore the God Butcher taking hits from beings as powerful as the Celestials not to mention people like Drax, who was in possession of the Power Stone, which is uh, quite powerful. His durability is honestly pretty extreme. Um, it doesn't seem like there's much that can take Thor down. His durability is one of the greatest in the Marvel Universe. For Martian Manhunter, we see him also taking hits from extremely powerful beings like, as I mentioned before, Flash, Wonder Woman, Despero, Superman, Doomsday... Dark side. Um, so, durability wise, he's also extremely high, but he also has the added advantage of one being a shapeshifter. So, he can alter the density of his body, making himself harder, for example, so that he is more resilient to attack. But also, he could shift his density to become intangible. So, that's also a huge advantage, uh, having attacks just simply pass through him. I think who has the advantage in raw durability? It's probably Thor being able to tank, like, easily tank planet level shattering, if not, you know, solar system galaxy shattering attacks. Which, again, Martian Manhunter is very durable as well, but I'd probably give the edge to Thor there. Um, as far as pure durability goes, though, Martian Manhunter's potential for durability may be higher due to his density shifting abilities. Going further, looking at speed, now Thor is very fast because, you know, we've seen him, you know, react in a microsecond to da 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 dodge laser beams and stuff like that, dodge blasts from people like the Silver Surfer. But we have at least seen him do things like knock people like Silver Surfer out of the air and people like Hyperion, who are massively, you know, super speedsters. So he is definitely fast, however... Martian Manhunter, I would say, probably has the edge on speed. He's been able to match people like Superman, match people like The Flash. Um, and I feel like DC characters in general, especially these Justice League members, 
are typically faster. So raw speed, it probably goes to Martian Manhunter. Combat speed, I'm not quite so sure because Thor definitely has way more combat experience than Martian Manhunter due to the fact that he is thousands of years old and has been fighting and battling for thousands of years. He's a master martial artist, weapons master, and I don't think that Martian Manhunter stacks up quite as well when it comes to combat. Looking at energy projection. Now Thor can summon storms, he can shoot lightning, and he can shoot the God Blast, right? So that's really his most powerful abilities that he has um, as far as energy goes. Now the electricity and stuff like that is cool. I don't know how big of a role it would play against someone like Martian Manhunter, but his God Blast, if he could hit him, would definitely be, you know, like that would be all she wrote if he could hit him with that. But the likelihood of him being able to land a hit like that, not quite so sure. Um, looking at Martian Manhunter, as far as energy projection goes, he does have his Martian beams, which is just laser vision, which do seem to be pretty powerful. But I don't, again, I don't know how much of a role that would play. I feel like this fight's going to be less energy and more fist-to-fist -fist type of fighting. So I don't know how big of a role that will play. Intelligence-wise... Martian Manhunter, I think, is the more intelligent person. Um, we've just seen that he has, like, a vast intellect. Thor, though, unlike, you know, in the MCU where they portray him as a moron, Thor is not dumb. And I think as far as combat goes, he probably has a much higher combat intelligence than Martian Manhunter, which would be definitely more of a deciding factor here than anything else. That kind of goes over the two of them. Strength. It's pretty close, if anything, maybe a slight edge to Thor. Durability-wise, probably um, an edge to Thor, but like an asterisk next to that because of Martian Manhunter's density abilities. Speed-wise, Martian Manhunter, but asterisk next to that for Thor's combat abilities. Like, if you look at the two together, it's actually a pretty close fight, which is making it really hard to pick a winner. Now, I know one thing that people might say is, well, what about Martian Manhunter's psychic abilities? How big of a role is that going to play against Thor? What about, like, manipulating molecules or something like that? Well, we've seen Thor being able to resist those kind of attacks. Specifically, he's resisted molecule manipulation, and he has resisted mental attacks from people with, like, the Mind Stone. I don't know how that stacks up to somebody like Martian Manhunter, but I think it's safe to say that Thor has extreme mental fortitude against psychic attacks and I don't think that would be the winning attack for Martian Manhunter. Like I said, I think it's going to come down to mostly a physical battle and I think if it comes down to mostly a physical battle, I think Thor has the edge and is probably going to win. I don't think it's going to be an easy fight. I think it's maybe like 6 out of 10 Thor wins. Like it's, I think it's very close, but in the end I think Thor has the strength the durability, the endurance, and the fighting skill to give him an edge over Martian Manhunter, despite useful abilities like shape-shifting, density-shifting, and psychic abilities. Though, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next video.